The type of uh, medias that we use are going to depend on, on many things, mainly on how much you want to spend. They're not all the same. I encourage you to try them all. Uh, what I use here is going to be cocoa fiber. I like it because it comes in pellets, like the ones you're seeing in the video here. Um, it also comes in a brick. You put it in water and it's going to swell and uh, you're going to have a lot of media there. That's an organic uh, source media. The other organic source that, that people use in Florida is the composted pine bark. Um, that one is cheap and it's a very available, especially around areas that have a uh, hardwood industry. Uh, you got to watch the, uh, the pH of it. Hemp mats are something that people are using for microgreens, but you can also use the hemp mats for hydroponic systems, uh, especially for starting your hydroponic plants. That's an alternative as well. The non-organic ones that uh, we have here are gonna be rock wool. Rock wool is extremely expensive. Uh, it works well, probably as cocoa fiber. Perlite, I like perlite a lot. You wanna aim for probably the medium size. Perlite is great um, because it's very uh, conducive to capillarity, to absorbing water, as well as uh, air circulation. Air uh, pockets are and very important um, for plants to develop those roots. And then we have vermiculite, which is, you know, probably more money than what I would like to pay for. And then you're gonna have something to contain that vermiculite. Well, with, with all of the media, the important thing is that the media states where it's needed at the root zone and, and not in the solution. Vermiculite particularly has that problem of, of flowing through the system. The expanded clay uh, or leca, uh, it's a type of rock. They're very handy and a lot of people use them for controlling humidity in that root zone. The problem with the non-organic media is going to be disposal. It can be an environmental uh, contaminant. They're gonna hold uh, bacteria and algae, so they have to be disposed correctly. They cannot be re just reused in our system. They have to have a, a second and third and fourth uh, way to use them. Uh, in terms of the coconut bark and the other organic uh, media, you can compost them with no problem. The other thing that you can use is a mix. Uh, that's basically coconut fiber with a blend of different medias. And ideally that's gonna provide enough media base for your plants. So this can be used together if you desire to do that.